uh, the rebound system by Denny Nash. Uh, this is a uh, system that we've been waiting to have the opportunity to put on software for quite a few years. Uh, the system, the paper and pencil system, is a great, great producer, although uh, it is a little uh, time consuming. But basically what the rebound system does is takes a look at horses past performance lines and finds uh, horses that had trouble, may have had trouble. It, it doesn't have to be significant trouble, could be just a wide trip or something. And the idea is that the, if the horse had a bad trip or had some kind of trouble, that uh, he is a likely candidate to rebound today, providing that he meets some other criteria as far as speed ratings, um, trainer, jockey, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but it's, this is pretty um, fantastic, actually, <laughs> I guess is a good word, because in the BristNet file, the BristNet files, that Len uses to program, uh, trouble is listed. So in other words, uh, you can find, the, the, the system is designed to find horses that were in trouble for one reason or another and should have finished better, should have finished in a better position than they actually did. Then again, what it does is when it finds these horses, then it evaluates based on other information, whether or not the horse should be a selection. And what we found with this is not only is it consistent, but is a great, great price getter. Um, we've got some of the original text. Uh, we, well, the thing we like about Denny is he's just really, really straightforward. He just, um, he, he tells it like it is, doesn't mess around. He gets right to uh, the subject at hand. And, uh, and, and again, the systems that he's created uh, you may remember just a couple months ago, we um, uh, marketed his watch and win, which is a tote board system, but works just great. And he had a few other systems. And the thing about Denny is he he only put a program out, would only release it to the public if he really felt that it was something that would make money. Now, we found over the long run, and with this one too, with this method, we, we found close to a 30% ROI because the average mutual is in the $10 range and uh, about $10.80. But you do get some really big prices as well as consistent lower price horses as well. Here's a horse that picked Natralova, paid $53.80 at Keeneland. Um, and and uh, in the next race, it also had the horse on top. Uh, which was a favor, but still you got a $200 daily double if you just put those two together. Here's another one. Uh, Gerlach is uh, racing at Del Mar, actually lost his rider. And of course, the rebound software noticed that, picked that up. And then again, by going back to past races, determined that it was a viable play today. And while it was four to one on the line, it came in and paid $26. So you will get a lot of nice prices with this. Also, this software had a great Breeders' Cup day, which we can't say for ourselves. Uh, we, <laughs> our own handicapping, we didn't do much good, but this program did really great. Uh, w when you get uh, a, a rebound play, it's also a good idea to back it up uh, to place and to show if the price is bigger. For instance, here's a um, horse, my sister Nat, that uh, was 30 to 1, ran second, paid 17.60 to place. In the um, main race, the main race, uh, the, the main race, the Breeders' Cup Classic had Nick's Go right on top, and Nick's Go paid a nice overlaid um, eight dollars and forty cents. Also, here's one on the regular, the, uh, the Friday Breeders' Cup card, Phineas. And again, this is a very what we call a very typical horse. When we say that the the type of horse that the program will land on most often. It's usually in these odds ranges. And, you know, in the, we'll pay in the $5, $15 range, but they're very typical of what the uh, program produces. And you'll find a horse like this just about every day, just about every day on every race card. Also, um, some of the others on Breeders' Cup weekend had Aloha West as a long shot, 2480. Dunbar Road, 12 to 1, just lost by a nose. Edgewood second at 17 to 1. Uh, several short prices. So you can see 
that the program is very, very capable of getting really, really good prices. Here's a fellow that wrote to us and said that uh, he's been following Denny Nash for years and he knows that Denny never put any product out if he didn't think that it would make money. Um, that's uh, the actual software we've got right here. Here's the natural over race so with a $59 horse. Uh, it's very simple. We've got basically what we call a rebound prime candidate and a rebound um, price prospect. And the price prospect's always worth including in your exactus, trifectus, superfectus. But the program overall uh, has a really, really good measure of consistency to it. And it's really, really good with horses at three to one and ever, three, three to one and under from a um, price, from a, um, a consistency standpoint. But it will get those really big prices as well. Here is the Breeders' Cup uh, Classic, Nick's Go, um, who was uh, five to two on the line, but ended up, ended, ended up paying a little above that. Um, so overall, what we found is that this program, uh, well, well, one thing we've noticed over the years, certain programs may just do well in lower level races. Certain programs may do well in allowance and handicap, handicap races. But you don't get programs too often like this that do better, do well at just about any level, any um, level from cheap maiden claimers, which just does pick maiden claimers, <laughs> uh, all the way up to stakes uh, races. Uh, it's a kind of program that, again, it's one of the first what we would call trip handicapping uh, uh, programs because it actually looks for horses who've had bad trips. And they don't have to be really bad. A horse could just be very, very wide. Uh, and the program will pick that up. And then again, that doesn't automatically play it again, make it a play because again, it's going to look at several other factors to make sure the horse is going to be competitive in today's race. We also got it at a really good price. Um, we're going to charge 111 for it uh, when we go retail. Uh, right now, it's just 85.70, which is a great deal. You can also get it in uh, ebook and uh, hard copy. So thanks. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.